Ja, ja, so. Follow me down now. Hey, bitch. Hopefully the roof came down with me. The one just bare dropping on me. Jura's Hero's Green. Golden Epitaph. A sword made to commemorate the death of Godwood and the Golden, the first of the demigods to die, infused with humble prayer of a young boy. O oh, brother, O oh, Lord, brother, please die a true death. Raise the epitaph to grant the effect of sacred order to yourself and ours in vicinity, particularly effective willing to rest those who live in death. Don't be the chariots again. What's these fucking chariots? Someone was pointing out in Dark Souls 2, the, uh, you know, see the giant eyes on these guys? Are, aren't actually their eyes, there's actually smaller eyes underneath. Maybe not dotted by the mouth is their actual eye. But in Dark Souls 2, those giant eyes in particular area are actually deflated. Because the basilisks were burrowed underground or something. So they come out a lot smaller than they otherwise would. That was the claim, if I'm remembering it correctly.
Thank you. Therefore, crop required a head. Not sure how we're to use those guys. At some mooks, I it's obvious. You know, you you ride on the track. But in these cases, they well, they have a knight in the sea. In the sea. Ah, looped around. The uh, like that one time we rode on them, the knight wasn't there. So I'm not really sure how we can fix that. Wish you well, guy wearing mimic mask. Seek bridge. Like, seriously, they're my most hated goddamn men. Vulgar militia ashes. Spirited vulgar militia wield long hafted serrated hatchets. These were wept particularly effective at causing blood loss to opponents. In the lands between, the small were, sc were scorned, and so they formed their vulgar militia as a means to make a living, albeit in ignominy.
didn't expect standard. I was getting so scared when I saw a door. Like that it, I missed a switch somewhere. Stop. No dead root in here, Sado. Why? This is a Steak America here. Steak America! I would not be able to do this without his assistance. Oh, well, not without great difficulty, I suppose. We'll put it that way. I would have probably gotten it eventually. Ardolphus' great sword. Crucible, uh, Crucible Axe Helm. Crucible Axe Armor. Crucible Gauntlets, Crucible Greaves. Here it is. Great Sword of Ordovus, one of the two honored as foremost amongst the Crucible Knights. The sword is imbued with an ancient holy essence. Its red tint exemplifies the nature of primordial gold, said to be in, uh, said to be close in nature to life itself. Ogdovus's vortex channeled the power of the crucible to spin the entire sword in midair, building momentum before slamming the blade down uh, onto the ground. It's going to be charged to increase its power. It's a fate time. Hmm. The axe ornamentation is the Knight Ordovus's mark, displayed also by his men. Holds the power aspects of the crucible incantations. Get in here, please. Invincibility frames, asshole. Az Azuriza? Auriza? Hmm. Interesting names. I was hoping I could just run through the trail.
Jesus. I just wouldn't have seen one within the catacombs. Uh, maybe relevant. Yeah, it's just a way to get around the catacombs. That has a different head than normal. This doesn't look fucked at all. No huge jars, so that's something. The large warrior jars are annoying. By it. I think the explosive jars have a uh, white lid to the top of them, rather than the red of a normal. I hate those. I just find them annoying.
way. That's the way we came from. Then what was the other one? He's out. I managed to double back myself? I honestly no idea what happened. I didn't mean to come back this way, it's just there was one bit where I fought an enemy. It looks like the entrance, the where the switch was. But it wasn't. There's a bit to this place. It's not been too bad. Heal just to be sure. Switch to this. Fuck. Heal. Perfumer's Cookbook Tier 3, um, not tier, just Perfumer's Cookbook 3. Oh, I need to hear more. Here's the place. Because I noticed there was blood pools. Seems like there was two different variations that looked very the same. Like there was blood pools in one that weren't in the other. And I swear they were there the first time around. 
I have no idea anymore. Yes, this place was different. I just had an issue with fire. Jesus. This place is a mess. Like you're not just getting using these to get around to areas that you couldn't otherwise access. There's like two of these little, two of these rooms, two of those chapels, and you're bouncing. Uh, there's just basically two areas. You're not just using the chest to get around otherwise inaccessible places within one zone. There's like two zones here that are identical. So it's really massive. See, the blood stains here, and actually the corpses, if I noticed the corpses, would have tipped me off that this was something different. The blood stains were actually what did it. No place like home. No place like Gnome. Grave Warden Dooms. And here I was worried for nothing. Sold Jars of Fortune. I should say. Sold Jars of Fortune. I approve of this pun. Uh, cost uh, HP rather than FP. Three little living jars. These reckless spirits sacrifice themselves to vanquish their summoners' foes and explode upon death. Though their bravery is admirable, their explosions can harm friend as well as foe, but also immediately explode on contact with fire. Tell the others, tell them how brightly a fire jar burns. <laughs> 